How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the Here to Scratch YouTube channel. This is going to be episode 2 of 2 for Tuesdays, which is a new series that we're running here at the moment on this channel. We're basically going to take two new stories, uh, things that were talked about during the week. We're going to break them down, discuss them, uh, have a bit of crack about them if we can. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into episode 2 of 2 for Tuesdays. Shay, run that intro. <laughs> So the first news story we want to talk about is obviously if you're living in Northern Ireland, we're from Northern Ireland, we're based in Northern Ireland, coronavirus restrictions are being kind of eased a wee bit. They're meeting at like uh, April 15th or something along the lines out there for another wee meeting where they're going to discuss obviously going forward. Um, to be honest with you, they'll probably not make a decision until like 72 hours after that. It's the most we can ask for, at least they're making a decision at some stage. It was Paddy's Day obviously on Wednesday. I think everybody was expecting the Holy Land to be absolutely mad. I wasn't there. I haven't seen many news articles or like videos or anything to sort of say that the place was mad. Um, but I know I've seen a couple of videos and stuff of people at Botanic Gardens. I think there was quite a fair number of people had gathered. I think it was because it was Paddy's Day, there was more of an emphasis on students and students gathering. Um, so to be honest with you, it's, it's just one of them things that, that that's just what we have to deal with at the moment. Like if you're in a large group that like that, and especially on Paddy's Day where there was such a big police presence and stuff, like it was gonna happen. People always say the Holy Land is the place to be on Paddy's Day. It's absolutely crazy. There's thousands of people out in the streets, but obviously this year was a bit different. Some people decided to spend it on their own and have little parties in their own head, just like this next guy. Another spaz attack block. Get the fuck up, you fucking. Just get up there and say hi, yeah. How can someone be so far gone that they start eating a bun off the ground? That's absolutely disgusting. Licking a cream bun off the ground. Uh, Stephen Nolan never appeared. What are you going to do about all of these things? He wasn't there and uh, yeah, I think there was a few videos I've seen where there was a bit of commotion going on like between police and students and stuff. Police trying to get to you! Drive off the air to you! I didn't touch you But to be honest with you, like, it is what it is and uh, hopefully we can just get on and get this over and done with so we can all get out again and, um, and just resume normality. And in other news, the second story that we're going to cover is this whole scandal. There was a girl on TikTok basically asked people to stitch uh, their moment where they knew their relationship was going to end. The moment you knew your relationship was over. Nadia Essex came on, she was an expert on celebs go dating, but she's basically come on and she's been like, listen, I knew my relationship was over because the man was cheating on her. Most of these stories normally go like she came home one night, she went up to the bedroom, found him in the bed with another woman. You know, all that there sort of scandal. No, this is completely different. When my ex-boyfriend came home from a night out, um, I woke up in the morning and thought, let me make him some breakfast. And I got a notification on my Fitbit. Um, the Fitbit that we'd synced together that between two o'clock and three o'clock in the morning, last morning, he had burned over 500 calories. She's basically woke up in the morning and thought, you know what, I love this guy so much. He's been on a night out. He's probably feeling a bit sorry for himself today after drinking too much. I shoved that breakfast where the sun doesn't shine, darling. I'm just picturing that right now. I heard <laughs> She had her boyfriend bent over the table and she was just firing sausages, beans and eggs in them. I suppose that's another way to lose calories. The naughty ass dad. She's went on and basically Fitbits gave her a notification that my guy, <laughs> my guy burned 500 calories between the hours of 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. My guy was, you know, getting his steps in and she's not believed this at all. So the Fitbit's done him dirty. Obviously, with regards to the whole thing, don't be a dirtbag, like don't be cheating and all that there, but especially if you are gonna go about that life, probably take your Fitbit or your watch tracker off. There will be so many controlling partners, like girlfriends, boyfriends, who are gonna go out and buy Fitbits for this reason in order to track your physical activity for any anomalies. You know what, I'm gonna pop up here and do maybe 30 minutes on an exercise bike, take video evidence that that's what you're doing at that time in the morning, because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more suspicious people out there after this has come out. So. That's mad. That is just madness. <sighs> so
So that's the end of our video this week. Uh, we're going to be doing these type of videos for another few weeks, floating this series to see how it's going. If you did enjoy, please give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more stuff. If you uh, want to give your opinion on any of the stories we've uh, covered in this uh, video, you can get you can drop a comment below or you can send us a DM. Uh, get the conversation going. We love to hear your opinions. So yeah, um, we'll see you all next week for another Two for Tuesdays. Don't worry, it's not for me to say